So I'm gonna show you websites to find remote jobs in this video. And I'm also gonna go on my computer and actually show you some of those sites uh, where you can find work. Now, before I go into the best websites to find remote jobs, I wanna start with a quick distinction of gigs versus jobs. This video is gonna focus on finding remote jobs, and I'm not really gonna discuss gigs. You know, gigs are, you know, just to define them, gigs are things that, where you can work for multiple companies at one time, and they're not, and, and it's not necessarily full-time employment. Gigs are just little pieces of work you do um, some sites you can find those if you're looking for them are like Amazon Mechanical Turk and uh, um, uh, Upwork.com, Freelancer.com, and a few. Uh, there's a bunch of other sites, but we're going to focus on finding full-time remote jobs in this video. Now, a few things you need to understand: it's a very competitive marketplace for finding remote jobs. Again, you may think you're very valuable but you're generally speaking going to take a pay cut if you are working a remote job, okay? Because there's people all over the world. So that's one quick distinction. You have to really fight hard to get these remote jobs. And if you get one, you have to keep it, okay? And make sure you're always at the top of your skill set because employers have a lot more people to choose from when they're looking for remote jobs. Doesn't everybody want to work at home and play with their kids and, you know, hang on the beach in Thailand? Everybody wants to do, you know, and have a consistent paycheck. It's obvious. Everybody wants to do that. So it's more competitive. Second off is you want to have a niche. So a niche, uh, if you are a video editor, it's better to be a video editor for self-development videos. If you have a really defined niche, you're going to be able uh, there's going to be way more companies that are going to be willing to work. You, you can work remotely with. Okay. One side note to keep in mind is any job can be a remote job. And I'm not going to talk about how you can turn any job into a remote job in this video. But really, if you have a very well-defined niche, like what I just said, you know, self-development YouTube videos, you can work remotely anywhere. You just contact a company that has those sorts of clients and you can work remotely for them. If you have a niche such as, uh, you know, you are, I, I don't know, it can be, it can be anything, you know, you are a web designer for consumer electronics websites. That's, you know, that's a good niche, you know, and that's something that you can turn any job into a remote job. If you're one of the better people in your field. The last thing is ego. Ego, you got to get rid of it. Okay. You got to get rid of your ego when you're working a remote job. Again, the marketplace is very competitive. So if you come into something where, you know, and I'm not saying lose your personality, but if you have, you know, if you have certain political beliefs, if you have certain religious beliefs, if you have certain, you know, if you have a certain type of sense of humor that some people find divisive, if you are, if you joke around with your clients too much, if you are, um, there's any number of things where you really inject your ego into situations in your job or with your employer. Again, in a regular job, people are basically, you know, people can handle these weird differences in personality. But when you're working remotely, you can't do it. You can't do it. You really just have to be client focused. How can I get the most work done? How can I give you what you want, not inject what I feel is needed into the situation. So you really have to move your ego aside and just become a productive little capitalist citizen. Now I'm going to show you these three different distinctions about remote job that you know you need to get them. And then I'm going to show you some websites where you can find a remote job. Okay. So let's check out some websites where you can find remote jobs. So the first website I'm bringing up here is called working nomads. And working nomads is kind of a play on this term called digital nomad. Digital nomad is kind of, you know, the new term for people who are really working remote jobs. It kind of glorifies this side of things. 
Because generally speaking, if you can work a remote job, and I'm talking about a real full-time job where you're getting paid like it's a full-time job, you can live anywhere in the world you want. It's a, it's a really beautiful thing. And in, in another video, I talked about you know how to uh, take time off and travel for a year. I talked about how really all you need to travel full-time is five hundred to two thousand dollars and really any job any skill based job that you can get here in america is going to pay you at least two thousand dollars a month no matter what skill you have so you can travel full time with any job really you have remote okay so let's go into uh let's go into this so as you see there's a ton of jobs here and most jobs that are posted are going to be for things that are something around um, something around development. There's a huge demand if for developers and development. Look, junior or graduate developer, you know, graphics creator, a lot of design jobs, VP of communications, project manager, React JS developer, okay, software engineer, Ruby developer, UI developer, DevOps engineer so many dev jobs but if we look here we can also see there's a lot of uh there's a lot of marketing jobs out there too okay obviously development if you want to work remotely get a skill in development okay get some sort of you know become a swift developer become a you know whatever get some sort of development skill but if you want to do something else lots of uh lots of marketing jobs you know director of marketing vp of communications ppc manager SEO manager, copywriter, project manager, you know, creative directors. So you have all sorts of marketing positions available. But keep in mind, if you look at this, it's a six to one ratio. Okay, six to one ratio of dev jobs versus marketing jobs. So it's just a bit more competitive, and the pay is a bit less for marketing jobs. Whereas if you have a, if you if you can develop well, you you know you have a really good chance of getting hired. Um, you know, that gives you your best chance of working dev. Another site I like is called Tech Guys Who Get Marketing. And this is a site I actually use because in my business, I work with a lot of people uh, who do various marketing activities for me. I have, God, I, I have so many people that do marketing related stuff for my business and they're all remote. You know, I use sites like this one. Um, so you see right here, Tech Guys Who Get Marketing. And I'm at their job page. So work at Tech Guys. So as we see on this page, they have a bunch of requirements. Again, you know, they're looking for people who are good in programming. They're looking for people who are good in design. And they're looking for people who are good in project management here. So it's programming, project management, etc. Now, they have a lot of requirements here. They require you to send videos of yourself. They require you to know all this different, you know, all these different marketing, you know, marketing aspects of things. They require you to know these different CRMs. They require you to know a lot of specific tools and skills that, frankly, it'll take time to learn. But if your goal is really to get a remote job, it might be important to look into um, you know, even if you're a developer that knows PHP, CSS, and HTML, you know, they're looking for people that know Infusionsoft, that know WordPress, that know Salesforce, right? These are all important things if you are looking to work with, if you're a tech guy looking to work with a marketing company. And I'm sure it's, you know, they have some pretty good jobs there. So those are all things you want to be aware of. Now, last but not least, you can simply Google job boards, remote work job boards in Google, and you can find a bunch of job boards. Here's an here's a article on um, uh, Medium, 28 job boards to find remote work for travelers and digital nomads. Okay, So if we scroll down here, we see a ton, a ton of job boards, Admirable Pro, Angel Lists. Atlas and Boots, Digital Nomad, DNX Jobs, Flex Jobs. You have a ton of job boards out there where you can find digital job, uh, remote jobs. And again, there is a marketplace for it out there. A lot of new business owners like myself 
are primarily working with people or exclusively working with people on a remote basis. So the jobs are out there, it's increasing. You do have to be competitive, but you can do it. And if you do it, I mean, the, the benefits are you can spend your whole life, you know, near your kids, uh, you know, closer to home. Again, that doesn't mean you can't work. I think a lot of people mean, think that means they can be lazy or just run to their kid when it's crying. You can't do that, okay? If you're working a job, you can't just run out of the room and take care of your kids or whatever. But also, you know, you do, and you can, it also means you can't just go to a foreign country that has no internet access, you know, or not good internet access, so you can't do go to meetings. You need to make sure you have stable internet access and you are available when you tell your boss you're going to be available. It doesn't mean that you can slack off or, you know, your friends are feeling like doing something so you can leave early. It doesn't mean that. A remote job is a job. It just means you can wake up in whatever city you want to and still do it. So I hope that educated you a little bit about finding remote jobs in on the internet. Uh, like this video if this helped you got something from this. Uh, leave a comment if any of these particular resources helped you, whether it was, you know, just knowing what to Google search, you know, like remote work job boards, or, uh, you know, digital nomads, or tech guys who get marketing, you know, if these were places that helped you find a remote job. And um, also, subscribe to my channel if you want to learn how you can work for yourself uh, as a internet entrepreneur. I run my own business online. I've been running my own business online since 2012. You know, I'm not working for anybody. If that's something that interests you, there's a link in the description that explains to you what I do. You know, I do what's called affiliate marketing. So thank you for watching and you have a great day.